Hello and welcome back to uh, Battletech. We're uh, we're taking off to a specific nondescript region of space, and we're gonna do a bunch of mercenary missions. And by a bunch, I mean probably two, and then we're gonna get our next career mission. And I'm pretty sure I'm set up for just about anything that the game can throw at me at this point. Um, I'm still fully prepared to take losses if they present themselves, but I think at this point our momentum should carry us to the end of the game. In the morning briefing, Samaya asks something unexpected. So what's the story with those mech warriors boiling, a uh, bowling in the barracks hallway? Darius crosses his arms over his chest. I've already put an end to that. Glitch in Medusa, we're calling it Corridor Bocci. I shut it down as a matter of discipline. You turn to Darius. How much trouble have their games caused? You're planning, playing an unused corridor, so not so much. But it was only a matter of time before something or someone got damaged. We should really repair the gym in Beta Pod instead. Um, host one last public game. Let's uh, get those beta pods repaired. The next day, mech warriors and crew crowd into a narrow bar barracks hallway to watch Glitch face off against Medusa in one final game of Corridor Bocce. In the winning play, Glitch bounces her last ball off the corridor wall twice to send Medusa spinning away toward the audience. The crew erupts in cheers and continue to talk about the match for days afterwards. I love little moments like that. Honestly, the the events in this game elevate the whole experience for me um, from like just an okay, I mean, a, a very good tactics RPG to like an actually excellent kind of uh, sandboxy role playing game. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. It didn't need to be there. They didn't need to add that, but um, it does really do a lot for me specifically, I guess, or personally. Um, so with that in mind i'd like to uh it's a good opportunity i think that uh we should upgrade the beta pods it's not really any reason for me to do this other than to improve the quality of life for uh my crew and you know i we, we are we are making some money uh but we almost have enough to do something meaningful like buy some better equipment if it presents itself but it's probably not going to present itself because uh, you know at this point money is kind of meaningless i i threw away my best opportunity to spend money um and that's okay i'm comfortable with that uh you know consequence but uh you know we can still throw the money at the ship make it a bit better um improve the quality of life for our crew and i think that that's meaningful as well that saw better not get too too uh grindy i swear to god i don't know if you can hear it in the background I think it's kind of quiet right now, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now entering. Synchro... What? Pinard. Ah, Pinard. I, I know this place well. No, I don't. I don't know this place at all. Um, can't remember if we already did our Mech Warrior experience, so let's go ahead and look at contracts. Hoping for something, anything interesting here. Oh, it's funny how it always takes a minute. We can do some minutes, uh, some jobs for the Federated Suns. I would like to do some jobs for the Federated Suns, but these are all three and a half stars, and I'm really not okay with that. We do capture base, assassinate. Assassinate is kind of difficult, actually. Um, capture base, four stars, ambush convoy. Oh, God battle i could give this a go i don't like it i really don't like it at all um it it just it just rubs me the wrong way um at this point i would rather take full parts because the only reason to take this kind of mission is at its difficulty we're likely to come up against some fairly tough cookies um what should our last mech be We've got decker in the highlander that's fine um we should put medusa in kind of want to put them in the battle master but i honestly feel yeah the battle master would be good because they got the narc beacon and we're gonna be up against some fairly tough monsters i think so the narc beacon is gonna come in handy hopefully so either that or the awesome and the awesome does do some pretty decent work um let's do the awesome i think i prefer that uh 
stability damage over the uh, benefit of the narc. The narc is really not great. I mean, it's okay. We'll do a pause here. All right, here's hoping that uh, things don't go horribly awry like they did the last time. This is the border region our employers are worried about. Orbital surveillance suggests that our targets are in this region. Let's move up and take make contact. Olivia out. Okay. You'll, uh, you might detect in my voice uh, uh, no small cynicism. These three and a half star missions have gotten to like such an intensely difficult wall that I, I feel like with even with my like amazing set and I think it is amazing I, and I think it's no you know like not unreasonable for myself to give a bit of credit to my uh, squad here it's just like it's been kind of super not fun wow that's a long way we gotta go and in this case, we've got a... I, this mountain region seems super familiar to me. We've got a fairly not great disadvantage in a, from a terrain perspective. Um, I'm actually going to hold back a little bit. Let them come to me. I want to try and take them on one at a time. And I figured they were going to get to take some shots on me. What is that? What is that? This is what happens every time. Okay, so we got three mechs taking shots on the crab. Four mechs? Four mechs. It's not too bad, but it certainly could be better. And of course, we don't have any sight on anything. If I move here, then I'm going to lose sight of that guy up there and uh okay we're gonna want to do a jump no oh, we we gotta sprint away unfortunately or move out of the way at the very least i'll move out of the way and then we're going to do a sensor lock if they're not still visible yeah i didn't think they were going to be visible so we'll do a sensor lock it is a cataphract i was actually uh, yesterday i was doing a little bit of window shopping with my local board game store and considering picking up um some battle tech i don't not a lot i don't really have a fondness for like tabletop war gaming but uh you know a little bit it's good to know like you know i think that this is uh worthwhile to dip dip into i'd like to to you know see more would you like to know more I'm doing my part. Um, yeah, let's just hit this right, uh, right torso. Locking in all weapons nice hit on that right torso with the gauze. Good, good, good hits. Good, go. good hits. Um, this is the annihilator, and we can hit that um, cataphract. And I would like to. It's a shame we don't have another precision shot. Cause that right shoulder is looking looking mint you know knock down huh? heck yeah i love that that like initial i think i don't think it, i have a ac20 on there but i've got some ac10s and they're they're really spicy i like them i like them a lot um, we can't really do great here, so I'll take a indirect shot over nothing at all. I'm on it. Heck yeah, through the ground, no less. Okay, so they're gonna have to move up. They have no line of sight on me. They'll probably do a sensor lock. And that's gonna suck for me. Oh, they didn't do a sensor lock. We only have the LRM-15... Um, most of our stuff is fairly long range, so I guess if I was going to make a choice, I would choose the, uh, crab to lose a turn for the sensor lock. We got another cataphract. Good to go. Um, 
Can we hit it now? We can hit it now. We have a very good line of sight. So again, I think it would be worth hitting. It's got a lot of medium lasers and an AC-10. Where's the AC-10? AC-10 is in the right torso with some ammo. Perfect shot. Let's do it. Copy that. Doof. Doof, doof, doof. Oh, it's got damage reduction. This was a wasted precision shot. Bummer. What can I do for you? Um, we're just going to... I think I can actually hit it from here. I can, yeah. We're going to take that AC UAC-10 off to uh, just to make sure we recover the recoil. I love the the annihilator uh, smacks real hard, and I love that. We're not going to be able to make use of this, but we are probably going to knock it down. It's just like very primed to get knocked over. Yep. We did hit it all three times, and that sensor impairment is going to do do us wonders. Knockdown. The knockdown is still valuable, though, because um, if we manage to get a couple lucky hits on the head, then uh, it will do a lot for us. Like, we can probably kill it. We can't keep this up. Yeah, shoot. That's just a bummer. That's a really cool looking stompy mech, I gotta say. Oh, okay, so they can see us now. That's bad because that means everyone can see us. We want to, uh... We're gonna take a precision shot with the AC cannons with everything. And I'm actually, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for the torso. We... I don't think we could kill it here. Maybe I should go for the leg instead. Um... It's a shame I can't go for something meaningful here. I'm just gonna go for the torso. You know what? Let's go for the head. I, I'm doing it. I mean, at the very least... We'll injure the pilot, and at the very least, we will hit something. Like, it doesn't matter if we don't hit the head. It's worth going for. And we did actually hit the head. Knockdown. Target's taken a critical hit. Knockdown, pilot injured. I'm surprised that they're not dead, TBH. I should really stop saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got it. Uh, well, that's... Yeah, I guess I'll go for the shoulder. I don't think I can kill it now, but... Pilot injured again. How much health does that pilot have? So they're making their way... Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do you mean a 90 ton? Good lord. Oh, we got a marauder. Um, well, we can start to actually hit stuff now. Like, we don't necessarily have to, you know, do sensor lock. So, let's try and get rid of this cataphract. Um, I don't think we need the PPC right now. This thing's got 90 health left, so... And it's got no damage reduction, so I don't think I need the PPC. There we go. I think that was a good call. Okay, apparently the annihilator is in vision of something. Commander? We've got uh, we've got a good line of sight on this marauder. Unfortunately, we can't hit it with the UAC right now cuz it's got that recoil. Um got an AC in the arm, PPC in the arm. All right, let's hit it in the arm. Here we go. Nice. That's a nice amount of firepower we just got rid of. We're just going to hit it. Basic shot. I copy. Oh, we missed with the gauze. Waiting for orders. Well, same situation. We're going to knock it over. Probably. We didn't knock it over. We just made it very unsteady. Still, we did some pretty good damage to its sensors. I'm going to have to rotate our... You know, you know, like a like a grilled cheese. We're gonna have to flip our buns over here, so that they don't get too toasted on one side. Good to go. I 
don't think we need to do too much damage here. So I'm going to take another an AC-10 offline here to conserve some ammo. Nice. Good call. Good call. That's a kill. Good to go. Okay. Um, nothing is in sight here. So we're going to have to make kind of a sacrifice. By that, which I mean, like, we're going to have to put something in the line of fire. Let's make sure we're in the forest so we're at least getting some damage reduction. And start hitting that uh, 90 ton. Ooh, a Cyclops. Ooh. Gonna go for it. Head hit. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? I can't not do it every time. I'm sorry. Uh. Uh. I don't really like either of those. Okay, fine. On the move. Roger. I would take a. We missed with again with the gauze decker. Can you? Can you like please like look alive yeah. and stop missing with your like best weapon? Acknowledge. Best thing you can do uh, against the Cyclops is like impair its sensors. It's only got the one eye, right? So just like poke it out and you're good. These guys are gonna have to move forward. They didn't manage to move forward enough to uh, get a line of sight on us. So this is very very good. I would really like to get the Cyclops, so I am going to go for this headshot. All it's probably a little bit uh, ballsy. Ah, gets to get up. Oh man, the Cyclops looks so cool. It missed. That's a lot of sensor damage it's got there. I really want to get that Cyclops. I'm going to go for the head. It's not a good idea, but I'm going to go for it. All weapons are go. Head destroyed. So I think we actually got it. I might get be able to build a, a Cyclops if I make it through this. There's no guarantees of that, by the way. Oh, cool. We can do a really nice jump over here. We might not be able to hit anything, but at least we can try. All right. Well, we can at least uh, sensor lock something. Got a lock. Ready for orders. Do we have enough for a precision shot? No. Sucks. That's fine. Nice three hits. Head hit pilot injured. Fantastic. Quick draw. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I'm feeling pretty good. So we've got a bit too much heat here. Uh, I'm not going to waste a precision shot because we're going to take off a lot of our weaponry here to get back some of our, you know, cooler jets a little bit. And we expose something, so then we'll um, use our precision shot with uh, something that matters and uh, maybe maybe do some real damage. Good to go. We're running out of ammo in the Annihilator. Oh god, it's just the arm that's damaged and it's only got a medium laser. Okay, let's go for the uh, shoulder That was some good hits really solid hits Okay, Decker you uh, if you miss again, you're you're on uh, suspension, buddy Let's just go for that torso hit Knockdown. Nice. That hit something. We could probably kill it with the PPCs. Waiting for orders. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Done. Pilot incapacitated. 
Okay, so, I mean, we've still got a lot of stuff on the field here. I'm a little bit worried. I don't think any of our mechs are exposed, or are they? Took a heavy hit there. Um, we're good. We're good. There's, I think there's only two mechs on the field. Destroy the local pirate organization reforms. 50%. We've only gotten through 50% of these guys? Is that, is that how I'm reading that? Um, this will be the last shot we can take. Oh, we're actually overheating quite a bit. Let's go for that headshot since we're quite close to killing it. Um, take off one AC, two ACs. I don't know. Let's just shoot with what we've got left. What does this one give us? Plus 50 crit. This one's got more accuracy. Let's hit with this one instead. Didn't get the headshot. That's fine. All out of AC 10 ordinance. Yep. Saw that coming. So we can almost shoot with three PPCs and not generate any heat with the uh, awesome now. It's it's really nice. We did knock it over. This is very good. Ready for orders. I guess we can hit it from there pretty easily. May as well go for the head, I suppose. Roger that. I guess it maybe isn't a good idea to go for the head. I'm out of LRM. Yeah. I really don't want to have to deal with a thunderbolt. Oh god damn it. We really couldn't kill it, huh? The, our entire team lobbed stuff over at it. But it still gets to oh wow, it's gonna punch me? 80 damage, that sucks. Does it have any support? It does have support. Shoot. Annihilator's taking some damage. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Um Yeah, let's punch this thing and we'll get some heat back. We might kill it. 125 damage and it took it like a champ. And it's running away. My god. Okay, let's try and kill it with the, just the AC5 and UAC2. I'm gonna go for precision because I really don't want to have to deal with this anymore. Right, there we go. Mech destroyed. Okay, Awesome has got everything, but it's also got ammo. Where is the ammo? And where is the ammo? Oh, it's all on the torso, huh? All right, let's just go for the torso then. Well, we did hit something and it did do damage. We've only got got the gauze now with that mech. Hit it with PPCs. Nice. The nice thing, uh, I guess it moves so it gets it's uh, um, it gets to recover its stability. Okay, that was bad. We've got some heat back. We can hit it pretty hard here with like everything. Okay, we did hit the uh, break off the arm. This is good. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Location confirmed. On it. That was a really decent hit actually. Hit it like right in the torso. On my way. Affirmative. We're, we should be able to take it out here with the PPCs uh, as long as I don't move to its left side where all of its armor is. There we go. Just the way I like missions to go. Simple with a fat payday at the end. I don't think anyone got exposed. That's exactly how you want those things to go. That was excellent. No extra payout, but we did gain some uh, rep with the Federated Sons. Uh, no one was injured. No damage to really recover. That's like wonderful. So we did. I think I did make the most of that. Oh, we only get one part with the Cyclops. Come on. We get two parts with a Cataphract. I don't think I want a Cataphract, though. Uh, wouldn't mind. I guess an extra awesome wouldn't be bad. We got 
Extra damage LRM. Oh god, look at all this. Plus three accuracy, plus 50% crit. Take those for now, but what is this? Plus three resolve gain. All mechs come equipped with a stock cockpit configuration win, which can be upgraded for improved performance. Com systems upgrades allow for better lance cohesion. I don't know what plus three resolve gain means. Does that mean like it lets us... I guess it means we generate more resolve for doing uh, precision shots. Plus three hit defense. These are like super valuable. I'm going to still take the Cyclops and I'm probably still going to take the medium lasers, but um, some of these are more appealing. Like I wouldn't mind that gyro. That's really nice. I would really like some better heat sinks. Oh my god, a plus two accuracy TTC. For ballistics, no less. That is excellent. Um, very little is going to pry that, uh, I don't think I want the comm system. My morale is up so high. I don't think the extra, mor like, resolve is really going to do much for me. The plus three hit defense is quite nice, though. I'll probably get the medium lasers because I have, like, another, what, 14? Uh, 19 parts I'm going to claim here. So we got cataphract parts, we got the awesome part, we got a marauder part, we only got one medium laser which is what I cherry picked, we got the gyro and the comms. Okay, eh, that, that gotcha could have been a little bit luckier but that's fine. AC20 wouldn't have been a bad get either. So we'll do one more mission and then probably our campaign mission will be ready to go. Um, that went really well. We're going to have to... I'm going to want to rearrange the, um... The Annihilator a little bit. I think I want both TTCs on it. I know that's overkill, but can you imagine the accuracy is just going to be insane? I think I'd almost take off some uh, another heatsink. We'll see. I'd be open to possibly taking... Oh, we have a AC-10 with that extra accuracy. Why am I not using that? I think I went full stability on here. Um, but I wouldn't mind trading stability. The stability is okay, but I'd rather go for accuracy and make this thing like the king of, uh, of headshots. Or queen, you know. But I don't know, plus 50% crit is also nice. Um, so yeah, let's look at equipment and tts so we already have a tts with ballistics we can put that like in the leg and then put this other one here and now we're going to be two pounds overweight this thing costs oh wow that's two pounds huh um so what are we willing to give up for that we're already running out of ammo halfway through combat so it's not great i'm not going to take off ammo i really don't think that that is the move i think it it i'd be better off taking off the heat sinks and i know that means oh you're gonna be shooting less i mean yeah i am gonna be shooting less um i'm gonna have to regain my my you know cool down a bit but also with this amount of accuracy i'd be willing to bet we don't have to take as many shots you know um and i am still tempted on this we have two we already have a crit ac so why don't we go for that accuracy? I think that this is this has the potential to to tear, rip and tear. We'll try it. We'll we'll try it and see if it how it works. But like having insane accuracy like that, oof, that would be so nice. Um, what else do we have? Do we have anything? Do we had we got some medium lasers. Does anything need an improvement? I guess only uh, the battle master could probably do with some extra plus three three or plus three uh, medium lasers. But uh, I'm, I'm good for now. We'll do uh, one more contract. I don't think anyone like I don't even have to wait. Uh, plus seventeen rep. Plus seventeen rep. So this is a capture base. Torian military facility that we need to. 
that will be ideal for our purposes. This wouldn't be bad because um, I'm assuming some of their forces will be split up amongst like vehicles and turrets and that would be ideal because um, we those are fairly easy to deal with I think for the most part. So let's try this. And again, oh, 6 and 27. We're going to go for full salvage. I've never gotten 6 and 27. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, oh, the Annihilator is in the shop. Shoot. Okay, let's wait, like, three days. Four days. Uh, this is the one, I think. Capture base. 6 of 27. There we go. And here we go. All right. Let's hope that this mission goes as well as the last one did. Okay, this location seems like a good vantage point. You should be able to see the facility from there. Roger, Commander, move up to the location Mayor indicated and we'll make a plan from there. Okay, y'all. Stay frosty. Okay, we're gonna move to behind that mountain since I've, I'm highly valuing how I am able to like hit the enemy before they can know I'm there, basically. There's the facility commander as we expected. It's heavily defended, be cautious. I'm seeing more Ek engine signatures approaching the base. Looks like there's going to be more company coming. I'm seeing turrets powering up around the facility. See, like, even that one step there was probably a misstep. Affirmative. Trying to generate whatever, whatever, what little evasion I can. They're not on the, they're not on the initiative just yet, but they'll, they will be soon enough. I feel a sneeze coming along. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Excuse me. Okay, let's um, just take like a normal shot on it. Ooh, look at that. That thing is pretty vicious. Let's see how you like this. Kind of sucks that it didn't okay. kill it. I guess that gauze rifle is good for like it, it'll it just does like raw damage like through armor, but it doesn't do much to strip the armor. It did, did a little bit. We don't need to hit it with everything, so I'm just going to hit it with the AC 5 and 2. There we go. Probably even that was too much. Uh, can't see the other one yet, so I'm just going to kind of sit by. Sit tight. I'm assuming it can't see us, but that's not necessarily true. I could step up and try and kill it, but then it gets a shot on me. Eh, let's do it. Might be able to kill it in one. We'll have a 95 chance versus... Oh, we just have a 95 chance. Let's just shoot it. Nice. So we have one mech in there. It's a 70 ton. Nothing too spicy yet. Well, 70 ton is pretty spicy, actually. But um, if I had seen that earlier, I would have liked to have sensor locked it with something else. What do we got over there? Another 70 ton. Okay, that's fine. Let's... Um, Gonna have to make a choice here. I'm gonna choose to sensor lock it with the Annihilator because I don't think I've got a great sight on it, but no matter what, I have to sacrifice someone. They're gonna get a chance to fire on me. I don't think they have a line of sight on me though, so that's good. We've got a pretty good line of sight on them, and we've also got a precision shot and a gauze shot. All of these are lined up. What is that? An archer? Oh. 17. 
Uh, this thing's got a lot of missiles somewhere. Yeah, that uh, that right shoulder is looking pretty good. No crit. Standing by. We could possibly knock it off with the PPCs. Engaging target. Yeah, that's what I like. That was good. Yeah, I saw that one coming. So we got a 55. 55 is a pretty unique uh, amount of tonnage. Do we have a timeline here? Eliminate base turrets, capture the base with friendly mechs, pacify the area. I mean, we don't really have a timeline, so we can kind of do whatever we want. Like, we can take our time is what I'm saying. Um, I'd like to finish off that 70 tons. So let's go ahead and do that. We haven't really done a lot of damage to this thing. What's our... We've only got a 17%. I thought with the extra accuracy, we might have a better chance of doing called shots, but that might not be how it works. It might be just accuracy added to our uh, shots here. Um, we have to do 168 damage. I think if we do hit everything, shoot everything, at, uh, that's really not going to work, is it? Let's just go for the head. This should be good. Like at the very least, we're going to hit it near the head, which is the shoulder, which means we're hitting it in the torso. So it's kind of a win-win, you know? Yes, Commander. Move orders. I like to move them a little bit, even though it probably doesn't do much for me. Uh, may as well keep, um, let's just do this with the gauze. Roger that. There we go. Tango down. Okay, so far, so good. This is going very, very well. Um, would like to get a shot on this. Unfortunately, if I do this, this means that they can see me. Um, so it's probably not a good idea. Let's just like, you know, move back, Heads sit up. tight. You know, keep the advantage that we've got going for us, you know? The Griffin has stepped forward. This is going to mean uh, they get they all get to see me. Oh, yeah. I feel like we should move back. I would love to just, like, kill that thing, but they, they're close enough at this point that it doesn't matter. Ready for orders. Um, let's... On you, let's try something spicy here. I'm gonna hit... Got shoot it. them with everything. With the Annihilator. Firing everything I've got. We did actually get the headshot. Amazing. And stay down. Well, they still get to hit the crab. I don't know why, to be honest. It means someone else can see them. Let's uh, move back a little bit. You never know, that might make the difference. And then do a sensor lock on that 70 ton. That is another archer. <laughs> We've got a pretty good sight on the tor torso. Well, we're looking at 18% chance on the head. If I do, if I hit it with the gauze, then that's an instant kill. So I may as well. Affirmative. Still, that was really good. And we got an ammo explosion. We did some really decent damage there. Yep. Yep. We only have a 75% there. We've got a 90 there. Okay. Let's go for that precision and try and hit something meaningful like that torso. We knocked it over. 
which is fine. It's going to get back up no matter what, because uh, we're going to have to take a turn to sensor lock it again, which means it gets a free turn. Oh, there's, here comes the Centurion. Still, it's hitting something that has like full armor, so like things are going very well right now. Yeah, it just got back up. I think. At this point, I think uh, I don't think we can regain the advantage that we had, so we may as well kind of go hard on what we can see, rather than spending a turn to like sensor lock something. Um, lot of lasers. Any ammo anywhere? Yeah, right shoulder or left shoulder. Sorry. LRM ten crit, which is something. It's not the ammo. Wow, that was like nothing. What was that? I hear ya. We've got a very good Look, shot I here. Heat. We are gonna overheat though. That's the cost of taking off all of our heat um, sinks. So let's just take off the one AC-10 and hit it with what we've got left and then we'll have to take a break. But that was a good hit. Another hit like that and you're toast. Got damage reduction. That was a really good hit with the gauze. There we go. Perfect. Mech destroyed. They can't see me anymore, which is really nice. Ready for orders. So let's just like back up. We'll take a moment to, uh, you know, regain our, our uh, advantage. They're going to have to move forward. They might be able to see us and take some shots, but it doesn't look like they were able to. Heck yeah, bud. I'm actually going to back up a little bit. And then um, sensor lock. That's the one that's damaged, so this will be an easy hit. We're going to have to cool down the uh, annihilator. Oh, it actually moved forward. Interesting. Standing by. I like this spot right here. Copy that. And then, um, yeah, we'll do a precision. We should be able to kill it here. Acknowledge. Yeah, that last rocket did it. Target eliminated. There's Torian reinforcements, apparently. Which kind of sucks. Everyone's inspired. There's a 40 ton. It's like nothing at this point. Um, is this a new fresh turn? Did uh, the Annihilator get to cool off? No. Waiting on you, so we're just going to go ahead and brace. I guess even without the heat sinks, it's, it takes more time to cool down. I'm going to continue to kind of like back up a little bit. Of course, that means we can't. They're actually not in range. But that's fine. You know, we don't we don't need to be shooting anything right now yes, Commander. we're just gonna take a take a minute you know take five grab a coffee um yeah okay we've got um no that's not good maybe we shouldn't group up like this actually because they're about to lob some stuff over Yeah. So we got the entrenched and we've got that damage reduction, so like that's nothing compared to what it could have been. Okay, so now we're going to step forward. Um, actually, they're, this guy is already within our sight, so let's go ahead and sensor lock them now. And that's actually good because they they move, so they're going to have a little bit of evasion built up. So by sensor locking them, we're kind of burning, you know, killing two birds with one stone. Just going to go for the torso. Nothing, nothing spicy here. here it comes. They had that damage reduction, which kind of sucks, but we did manage to uh, crack open that shell.
Let's just hit him with the small stuff. We might be able to kill them here. We we didn't get lucky on that one. Give me a sec. All right, that's a bit better now, isn't it? Um, with the awesome, can we we can get a good shot off here? I was really surprised that we didn't take out. Yeah, it's it's. I guess it's got that damage reduction, so I should have accounted for that, but that's fine. I think that I'm doing a much better job of using the environment to our advantage. If I do say so myself. Um, wish that we could do something more interesting here than just continue sensor locking with the crab, but that's fine. It's, it's valuable. So it's, you know, sometimes the obvious answer is the best answer. Some decent percentage chance here. Um... LRM 10, wh where's the ammo? There's the ammo. There's the ammo. Okay, let's go for that right shoulder. We've got a better sight on it, and also it's the AC ammo. So we got a maybe a better chance of that. No. Shoot. I'm out of LRMs. Out of LRMs. And Glitch doesn't get a precision shot. That sucks. Still, I'm going to go for everything here. We got the AC crit, we got the knockdown, we got the right arm blown off. Last mech is going to be able to get a precision shot. Oh wow, they have like full armor on their torso. Was not expecting that. Um, we can do some damage to his leg. I, I think that it's probably just better to hit it in the torso though. Good shots. Those all seem to land. So it's going to get to do some damage, but that's fine. I think we're honestly totally fine here. And it's also only got half of its weaponry. Wow, it did nothing, huh? Let's just step forward and then actually do something with the crab for once. There we go. The crab gets a kill. But that also means that we don't get to hit anything else. Receiving you. Oh no, now we're good. We can hit that 70 ton. On my way. A grasshopper, huh? Never seen a grasshopper, I don't think. Where's the ammo? Left or right shoulder? Ah, it's in the right shoulder. Ooh. Well, that's no good. We should be able to hit it pretty hard. No, never mind. Yeah, the heat the the heat management on the um annihilator isn't really doing doing it for me. Let's knock it over. That didn't knock it over. I didn't kill the leg there. It's astonishing. I'm amazed I didn't knock it over. We don't we don't have that entrenched, unfortunately. I guess you have to stay Damage still to get the entrenched. Damage minimal. Let's just go for that leg. No, you know what? Let's not waste the precision. I'm not, not, not sure why I'm wasting that. I suppose if we reserved we could give it a chance to move and then oh wow they have an orion left a fully armed orion that that's kind of spooky good to go i'm actually gonna sprint the um the uh, uh annihilator towards them and then maybe we can get a melee hit Double time. just to cool down you know, do something valuable. Firing on target. There we go. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's still standing, actually. Incredible. 
So we're gonna be able to knock it over and then it's gonna get back up right away. Uh, and we're actually overheating. Even if we only shoot with two PPCs, we're still cooling down. So I feel like the heat management on the awesome is, is really good right now. Please don't get a, oh God damn it. That is really like one of the most frustrating things is like you finally managed to knock over a mech and it just means nothing. Like, yeah, it's cool that we did some damage to the pilot. They still have another fairly well. Oh, it's, it's a turret. That's what's up. I hear ya. So actually moving up is probably not a great idea. Although we are getting that evasion. Let's just sprint around and cool down a bit. <sighs> On my way. I'm just gonna take a shot. Engaging target. That's fine. I really want a second gauze rifle. That Orion really needs to be stopped. Heavy damage. Um, it's got a bunch of missiles. Where are those missiles? Left torso. Let's do it. There we go. We got the explosion. Blew off the arm. I guess I should stop moving them. Because that's ruining, like, my entrench bonus. I think. I'm not sure, actually. Glitch has got a good evasion bonus, so she's doing a good job of zipping around and providing us with a distraction. And now maybe she's cooled down a bit. She can also, if she could get in the water, that would be kind of nice. That would help quite a lot. Got it. Want some more, huh? I guess you have to brace to get the entrenched bonus. Yeah. Don't mind me learning basic mechanics like 40 hours into this game. Knockdown. Ready for orders. Uh, uh, really? You had a 90% chance to hit that. Good lord. Cool. Okay. So it's just the, the Orion now and the turrets, of course. That's some pretty nasty damage the Annihilator's, ta uh, annihilator's taking. Commander? Let's just sprint her away from those. And um, we're almost overheating, but it almost doesn't matter because we have, you know, we, we can only take a shot with one of these things so we may as well make it you know the uac there we go drop sh ship inbound for landing we're gonna get in and out quick we do have to try and um kill those turrets if we can This is Marsh. I don't care about the stability damage. I just want to make sure I kill one of these things. Uh, 90%. Let's make that a... Uh, no, never mind. Precision is not going to change that at all. Let's just take the shot with what we've got. We did hit it three times. We did not kill it, though. That kind of sucks. Still, they took a shot on the Highlander, and that had the most ev evasion. So, cool. Cool with me. Can we... We have a pretty okay shot here. Yeah, I mean, it's a good shot. Um, 
we'll have to just do it with basic stuff. Nice. Target destroyed. Uh, we have a good... Oh, never mind. We don't have a good line of sight. So I'm only hitting it with LRMs. Can we Standing do something off. better? This is rough terrain. So we'd be taking stability damage. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I need to land some shots with this thing. We're only hitting with the gauze, but still that might be enough to kill it. No. Interesting. Alright, well then let's just try and hit it with the LRMs. Now we're just hitting the armor. Move into position. Ugh. Roger. Two hits enough? Yes. Cool. That one's gone. All right, we're good to go. I'm surprised that the mission isn't just ending, but I guess they need us to capture the, the base first. Done. Cool. Uh, that went well. That went really well. I am, uh, I'm actually, I'm really happy with how that went. Um, uh, this is going to be one of the biggest, like, hordes of, of stuff I've gotten. We did take some damage on the awesome. So that's going to be in the shop for a bit. Um, let's see here. The best thing we got here is the Orion for mech parts. Take an LRM 15. Take a... Eh. Actually, this sucks. Wow, this sucks, actually. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Um, I can't... The best thing I can do is complete a Griffin. We can get a grasshopper part that's novel i guess we could take two archer parts um it would probably be better to take two yeah you know, let's get rid of this lrm we'll take two archer parts and i'll forgo the grasshopper part i don't think i'm gonna build a grass uh, an archer but hey Like I said, when it comes to difficulty, the game's a little bit all over the place. If it's a battle with just mechs and it's like a three and a half star, then that really sucks because all of the difficulty is going to come in fighting the mechs. And that means their mechs are going to be really good and there's going to be a lot of them and you're probably going to be outnumbered and it's going to suck. But if you're doing a capture, then some of that difficulty is spread out amongst like vehicles and turrets. And those are a lot, a little bit easier to um, navigate and uh, predict. And, uh, you know, that does that does a little bit more for, uh, you know, figuring out the difficulty. Um, so we are going to sell that griffin. I don't want a griffin. I had griffins. They were good. They're they're fine. We don't get anything. That, that last mission kind of sucked for uh, the payout. Um, we got a couple of Orion parts, I guess, or a Orion part. So we've almost built an Orion. The Orion does not stack up with what we currently have. So meh. Big ol' meh for me. Yo. Um, it did say that our next mission is ready to go, so let's head over there. Liberation Tierlin. So we're going to head over there, and that'll be the next episode. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. For more content like this, I'm going to stop it so that it doesn't hit, it, hit me with an event. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Have a good day.